Kasmail Toto Mongudidachu as the governor of Maguindanao in the Philippines. Mongudidachu was elected for governor of Maguindanao after defeating his closest rival, Ambrosin Chuat, by a margin of 12,705 votes. The race came to international attention after the 2009 Maguindanao massacre during which his wife, sisters, aides, and lawyers, plus several journalists, were kidnapped and murdered. And Lampatuan, Jr., against whom Mongudadachu was running for governor, was charged with the murders. He denies that he was involved. Early life Esmail Mongudidachu was born on August 15, 1968 to father Pua Mongudidachu, who was a famous politician that was president of the Magnificent Seven, a group of influential politicians in the province at the time. Esmail Mongudidatu's uncle is Pax Mongudidachu, incumbent representative of the 1st District of Sultan Kudarate in Takurong City. Seeking to escape his political dynasty, Mongudidachu went to university in order to be a doctor. It was there that Mongudidachu met his wife Jenilin, from the Ilonga clan, while they were both students in Davao City, Mindanao. They married on November 11, 1991. Starting a family after getting married cut his medical studies short but even after having many children he earned his political science degree from the University of Mindanao in Davao City. Politics Seeking to support his ever-increasing family Mong Udadachu visited the then governor of Maguindanao province, Zakaria Kandao. His intention was to get approval for a new business venture but instead of Kandao, who was his godfather, talked him into running for office. He was elected and became a provincial board member. He went on to become mayor of Bulawan and after he reached his term limit became vice mayor. In 2009 he decided to challenge the Ampatu and clans heir apparent in the election for governor of Maguindanao province. Maguindanao Massacre The Maguindanao Massacre occurred on the morning of November 23, 2009, in the town of Ampatuan in Maguindanao province, on the island of Mindanao in the Philippines. The victims were about to file a certificate of candidacy for Esmail Mong Udadachu. Mong Udadachu was challenging that Juan Samer and Lampatuan, Jr., son of the incumbent Maguindanao governor and Lampatuan, Sr., in the forthcoming Maguindanao gubernatorial election, part of the national elections in 2010. The 57 people killed included Mong Udadatu's wife, his two sisters, journalists, lawyers, aides, and motorists who were witnesses or were mistakenly identified as part of the convoy. Mong Udadatu told reporters that his wife was able to call her husband just before she was killed, she said. They had been stopped by 100 uniformed armed men. Then her line got cut off the man thought responsible and Alampatuan, Jr., denies that he was responsible and instead blames the MILF an armed Islamic group that operates in the southern Philippines. MILF released a statement denying that it was responsible. 2010 Elections Four days after the massacre, Mong Udidachu traveled along the same road where the attack had occurred to successfully file his candidacy in the election. He ran under the banner of the Lakers Campi CMD party. In the Lakers Campi CMD party, Mong Udidachu replaced his rivals from the Ampatuan clan who were the perpetrators of the Maguindanao massacre. Gays and Omal shootings on February 11, 2010 Tamano Commandan approached Mong Udadachu and his entourage at the Gazano South City Mill in Davao City. An altercation took place and Commandan was killed by Esmail Mong Udadatu's bodyguard. Mong Udadatu released a statement that Commandan was an associate of the Ampatuan clan and that he was trying to kidnap his children. Commandan's wife denies the Ampatuan connection and has stated in an affidavit that her husband was just chopping when Mong Udidachu ordered his men to shoot him. On February 14, 2010 Mong Udidachu and his bodyguard were charged with murder. 
Takurong City Car Bombing Mongudidatu's convoy on August 15, 2011 was hit by a car bomb that exploded along a highway in Takurong City, Sultan Kudarate. Two people were killed, including a Maguindanao board member, while six others were wounded. The bomb exploded while Mong Udadatu's convoy was cruising along the highway in Takurong. The governor and his followers were heading to a restaurant to celebrate his birthday. The bomb, placed inside an old and white Kia vehicle that was parked at the side of the road fronting the Cherubim Methodist Learning Center in Alunan Highway, exploded when a Toyota Fortuna, where the provincial board member was on board, passed near it. Mongu Didachu was unhurt in the bombing because his vehicle was bulletproof.